Frank here, and today I'm going to be doing an honest review on Monkey C, Monkey Doo Doo. So before we begin, I just want to give a big shout out to Click Games for sending me this game so I can review it. I've had this game for a while now, and I was just not able to actually put everything together and edit this video for the review. So I'm sorry, I know I'm a bit late to make this review, but I hope you guys will still enjoy it. Now, let's jump into the review. So I'm going to start this review off by giving you my first opinion and what I thought about this game. When I first saw this game, I thought it was kind of like a Gorilla Tag ripoff. Not gonna lie. And honestly, I don't think I was the only one thinking this. But I am happy to say that is not what this game is about. Like any game, there are some positives and some negatives, and I'm going to go through all of them. The first thing I'm going to cover is movement. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the movement in this game does take a small bit of inspiration from Gorilla Tag. But there is also a lot different in good ways and bad ways, and you can definitely feel it. For instance, I love climbing in this game. It's completely different from Gorilla Tag. But a lot similar to some other VR games that you have to climb in like population one also unlike population one and gorilla tag there's actually a lot of physics when it comes to climbing different things like the fact that you can use momentum when swinging vine to vine one thing that i don't like in this game is the jumping that's one thing in my opinion that gorilla tag has nailed for some reason in this game it is a lot harder to just push off and launch yourself onto something else but when you do, it does feel really nice. It's just really hard to do and get used to. For me, when I'm doing the same action in Gorilla Tag, it feels seamless and very immersive, but when I'm doing it in this game, I have to think to do it. So I get really in immersed. However, while I was playing the game, I saw a few people that are really good at it, so maybe I just need to practice more. But now, let's talk about my favorite mechanic in this game, throwing poop. Or as the title says, doo-doo. So yeah, throwing poop is my favorite pastime in this game. You just grab a nice heap of poop from your butt and yeet it at people. I wish this game mechanic was in every game because you can do this anytime, anywhere, even in the lobby. In game, the purpose of the poop is basically like a stun attack and it also blinds you. And now since we got all of the mechanics out of the way, let's get into the gameplay. You start off each game at a treehouse type thing. From there, you zipline to the game arena. It reminds me of flying in in games like Fortnite or Pop 1. Once you land inside of the arena, your goal is to collect as much bananas as possible. I know that sounds pretty easy enough, but it's really not. And that's because as fast as you get the banana, you can lose it. As crazy as it sounds, throwing poop in this game makes you drop the banana. So the gameplay all comes down to you getting as much bananas as possible while also trying not to get hit that much. And if you do get hit, you can still pick up the bananas. So yeah, I just want to clarify, you're not going to be banned from picking up a banana if you get hit by some poop. The poop mechanic just makes you drop the banana and then it's just really hard to get back because other people are also trying to get the banana. So that's why it gets so hard. I also do want to mention you can clearly see who has the most bananas and just in general how much bananas each monkey has. The monkey with the most bananas will have a crown and you can also see how much bananas each monkey has on the right side of their name tag. So for example, this monkey that we're looking at now only has one banana and the king who just jumped down has seven. If you don't want to play on a public server, you can always play on a private server. So you don't have to play with a bunch of people you don't really know. And also what I realized with this game on the public server, for me at least, I couldn't hear anyone. I couldn't hear what anyone was saying anyway. So that doesn't really matter too much. So I would say if you do have some friends that play VR a lot, tell them to get this game so you can jump on and play in that private server. I also did forget there are crocodiles in the water and you have to be careful of them. So in some maps, if you see a crocodile, don't go in the water. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. When the game ends, you can also see your ranking. It ends up breaking down your stats into different categories. So if you really want to improve in this game, I would say use these analytics. And now let's talk about customization. The customization in this game is not bad at all. It's easy to follow and understand right from the get go. Now at first, they don't give you too many options. They just give you some basic options, but they still look cool and you can still customize your avatar how you want. Later on, once you have collected some bananas, you can actually customize your poop and your avatar a lot more. So just remember, if you play the game consistently, you probably won't be stuck with the basic avatar forever. 
There is also a shop where you can get further cosmetics. But to get these, I believe you also need a different form of the in-game currency, so not just the bananas. You can get these different in-game currencies by completing different daily challenges. Or you can pay for it. This is a free game, so I believe this is probably the only way that they're going to be making money from this game, so I completely understand. Well guys, this has been my honest review for Monkey C, Monkey Doo Doo. I hope this video was informative and it put this game out there to see if you all want to play this game as well. This game is a great game. It's not perfect, but it's still very fun. And I can definitely see the developers of this game continuing to grow it. If you liked this video and it was helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you didn't, feel free to put a thumbs down and let me know why in the comment section below. If you want to reach out to me, message me on my Twitter or my Instagram. Everything I mentioned will be in the description below, including this game. As always, have a wonderful day or night. Peace out.